King Charles finally welcomes Fergie back into family after years of humiliation. King Charles invited the Duchess of York to spend the festive period with the royal family last Christmas for the first time in years. Sarah Ferguson, Duchess of York is being welcomed back into the royal family, according to an expert. During her most recent installment, on her podcast Tea Talks with the Duchess and Sarah, she revealed that her granddaughter Sienna had tried out the new adventure playground in Windsor that was the brainchild of the king when he was the Prince of Wales. She said that she had written to her former brother-in-law to praise him and his passions for caring about the environment, OK. Reports I had some pictures made up into a card and wrote to the king and I said your vision was the greatest success ever and it was Sienna's favorite thing ever. I just love that idea that really a two-year-old has gone out in the world and said you are on the right track, all his climate change talk, all his vision, all his wishes and now it's all coming to fruition. Sarah, who is continuing down her road of recovery after undergoing surgery for breast cancer, added, people are beginning to realize what an incredible force he's been to fight for nature. King Charles invited the Duchess last Christmas to spend the festive period with the royal family for the first time in several years. And now former BBC royal correspondent Jenny Bond claimed things have changed a lot for Fergie, as she is commonly known, since Prince Philip's death. She said he found it difficult even to be in the same room as her, after all the shame she had brought on the family, but the Queen was always more conciliatory. She added, and now King Charles is showing that he accepts her as part of the family, and has begun including her in family occasions. And that is good to see. The expert told OK, I always thought it was hard to watch the girls at big family gatherings or public events without their mother alongside. It was a silent but obvious humiliation for Fergie. But she never complained about it publicly. I find her podcast very gushing and mostly full of a lot of hot air, but there are occasional tidbits, for example about playing a big role in her grandchildren's lives, and about writing to the king. She's also been putting out some very positive messages about breast cancer and has been showing by example a strong mindset in the face of serious disease. So I think Fergie is earning renewed popularity amongst the public. I think she has shown that, whatever life throws at you, a close family network and great friendships can help you through.